Yo, what is up today guys? It is Jesse Hawes back at you again on Swole Productions and I am here with a full day of eating! You already know, it is bulking season, it is time to put on the size and win the prize, baby! Alright, so my morning weight this morning was 170 exact and so that's my starting point for this bulk and on here, for meal one, it is going to be an English muffin, two over easy eggs, a slice of low fat cheese, and two slices of ham. This equates to right here about 25 to 30 grams of protein by itself. And I could usually have like four eggs and oats or whatever, but I like to mix it up so I still keep it in the egg range with my oats in the morning. And But yeah, with the sandwich, I'm also having uh, a packet of strawberries and cream oats, which is only 20 carbs with a serving of Greek yogurt on top with half a banana cut up and cinnamon on top, which this by itself equates to around 18 grams of protein. So I'm getting me a solid around 40 to 50 grams of protein for my breakfast this morning. And then, yeah, this is meal one of the day. All right, other than that, I'm gonna get to grubbing and I'll catch you at meal two. So, my last meal was about two and a half hours ago, and that was about at like 9.30ish, it is now 12, and I'm looking for my pre-workout meal now. I'm looking to load up on some carbs, a little bit of moderate fat, and fast digesting proteins, and so usually I would go with a cream of rice bowl with the protein, you already know the good old mix-up, but this, empty. So, taking out its little brother, cream of wheat. And so you already know, I'm going to do the same servings with this. So I'm going to do two servings of cream of wheat, which will equate to about 50 carbs. And then I'm going to throw some honey on top of that mother lover. And then I'm also going to throw some, I don't have that disposable, some peanut butter on top of that mother lover. And then some cinnamon, just to top it off. Just to top it off. Ain't getting too crazy. Maybe a little banana even, you never know. But, um... That is going to be the pre-workout meal. I'm going to throw some protein in there, mix that up, make like a little muffin deal, and I will show you guys the finished product, all right? And remember, don't forget to take your creatine because it's time to get swole. So, <laughs> All right, guys. So, this is my cream of wheat right here, and I've cooked it to a pretty thick consistency, as you see, with the powder still on top. But all I got in here right now is protein powder, glutamine, stevia for a little bit of sweetening, and a tablespoon of cocoa powder. And I did also put a serving of glutamine and creatine, and I don't fully expect to absorb all the creatine eating it this way, but I mean, it's just another way to supplement my supplement, so might as well. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and mix this up, and it is hard to mix, but just push it together, and... Just just keep on mixing. <laughs> it, it'll, it'll eventually get there. I'll go ahead and skip to that part. Voila. And after a bit of mixing, here's the final product. And what I do now is I just go ahead and I go through the whole edge of it. Smooth it out. And then once you get this sucker fully smoothed out in your bowl, go ahead and throw it back in there for a minute. Minute 15 maybe for your microwave. And then it'll turn into a brownie. Kind of like brownie, a sludge, whatever you want to call it. It's good to me. You can eat it like this. It is still really good like this. But uh, I just prefer it more cooked. So I'll go ahead and skip to that and show you guys the final product. And after a minute and 15 seconds, it is now hardened up, as you can see, stiffened to the whole thing. Oh yeah, give her a slap button. Ain't sticking to it no more. And this is the finished product, guys. So, yeah, my protein sludge, brownie, whatever you want to call it, with peanut butter in the middle. I only put one serving, well, not even a full serving, about like one and a half tablespoons instead of two, and then I put half a banana and then a serving of honey on top of these bananas right here just to sweeten this up a little bit more with some natural sugars and yeah cheers let's get a little bit of everything banana peanut butter and the chocolate oh yeah mm. definitely the most forward look to meal of the day 
when I wake up, I think about what's my pre-workout meal just because I usually always throw peanut butter in there. I love peanut butter. So, yeah, it's a pre-workout meal. If you guys try it, you can do with oats, by the way. Just remember, don't use all the water, water that it says to use, like for oats or cream of wheat, rice, whatever, just to make it thicker because too much water, you're not going to be able to achieve this brownie effect. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm going to get this meal two down and then probably have a little bit more carbs, probably like a chewy bar or something before the workout. Either way, I'll show you guys, but yeah, next thing you'll see is meal three. All right, all right, guys. So I almost forgot to tell you guys, I am having this chewy bar, like I said earlier, but yeah, another 18 carbs down the hatch before this workout. You know what? And I got home from my workout about 45 minutes ago, but my boy Jevin showed up, shout out to him. He told me about his crazy practice that he had at Newman with wrestling and it obliterated him, let's just put it that way. But uh, other than that, I am super hungry, so I'm ready to get into my post-workout meal and good old can of mixed vegetables. I'm gonna have half a can of this. Have a cup of egg whites. Actually, more like three, three fourths a cup, and then I'm going to have the rest of this chicken, which, if if I'm a guess, it's about five and a half ounces, um, and then a cup of dry rice. So when it's cooked, it's gonna be two. Um, it's gonna equate to about 75 carbs with the veggies. It's gonna be about like 80 carbs and about 45 to 50 protein. And yeah, other than that, throw whatever seasonings I like on it. But She smells the greatness. So this is the final product of the chicken and rice masterpiece. And to be honest, I just ended up doing the, yeah, the egg whites, the chicken, broccoli, and I, I said screw the canned vegetables and I put uh, fresh broccoli in here. And then I also added liquid aminos to give it this like Chinese vibe. Yeah, she smells it. <laughs> A little bit of everything. Here we go. Oh yeah. Mm. Man, do I love liquid aminos. Uh, if you haven't heard of them before, uh, they are, it's just kind of like soy sauce, but it's aminos. So it has the full like amino acid chart, like showing all 16 that's in here. Anything from like arginine to like tyrosine, like, yeah, the basic ones. So, I'm not a genius, but I know that's great. And so yeah, let me go ahead and dive into this and this'll be it. And yeah, I'll catch you at the next meal. Hope you guys are having a great day. All right, all right guys. So, it has now been about two and a half hours. I done just got watching the Chargers versus Chiefs game and the Chiefs did win, not by much, but great game. Um, but now that has had me to work up a hunger now, and your boy's hungry, so just to start off the night, keep in mind I said start off, we got eight ounces of beef cooked into taco meat with some, uh, the mixed veggies in the can, it's like about seven carbs, um, in all, and then we got a mini tortilla right here. I might have two. I'm thinking only one just for this meal because I still plan on having a little bit more after, but we'll see what happens. I'll update you guys, but like always, I gotta get a taste test with you guys. Mm. Mm. Tacos are just a go to item for me. Like, I just, I just love tacos, taste of them and everything, beef or chicken, they're just great. But other than that, I'm going to go ahead and down this and I'll catch you guys up with my next meal. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the game because I did. Go cheese. That was cheesy. We're not going to talk about that.
right guys, so that is the finished product. Wait a second. A little bit of cinnamon, why not? On top of the bread. That way it like holds it, you know, it's a vessel. Like Eric the Electric says. So, that is now the finished product. And yeah, it's kind of just like a calorie capper for the end of the night. And I'm also having a cup of this Fairlife skim milk um, just for some fast digesting proteins and this is my fats for the, over the night uh, along with that beef I just did. Hope you guys have an amazing day or night, whatever time you're watching this and be sure to like and subscribe. And if you guys got a PBJ with you right now, which you should, and if you don't, go make one. Uh, wise words from Jesse. We'll go ahead and enjoy this together. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Also, forgot to add in, I did not put peanut butter on both sides. I put one serving on one side and then on the other side. I used about 15 grams, so about a quarter scoop of uh, protein powder and made it like a sludge and went ahead and threw it on just like the peanut butter itself and it just kind of mimics the peanut butter it gives it more of that feeling of the peanut vibe in it so yeah little hack you don't got to use all highly caloric high fat you can use more protein so just make whatever work but other than that this is going to be the end of the video this time peace out y'all have an amazing time and always remember Stay swole.